Well, we all saw it. That slap in the face overshadowing a celebration of the best work in Hollywood at last night's Oscars. Now the Academy launching a formal investigation. Will Smith's first appearance on stage, slapping comedian Chris Rock across the face after a joke about Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, mocking her shaved head. Christian? Well, Kirsten Pinkett Smith suffers from alopecia, a disease resulting in hair loss. And last night's incident is bringing it to the forefront. Now, it impacts both men and women, but one local dermatologist tells us there are solutions. I don't condone it, but I understand. <laughs> oh, wow! This Oscar night moment is sparking a conversation about alopecia. Las Vegas dermatologist Dr. Candice Spann says it's an emotional and devastating medical condition, especially for women. 50% of women will experience some form of alopecia by the time they're 50 years old. Uniformly, regardless of the type of alopecia, it's emotionally devastating. Dr. Spann says most women don't notice the problem until they've lost 50% of their hair, which she says can be caused by several factors. It can be vitamin deficiency, crash dieting, styling practices, hormonal fluctuations, childbirth, menopause, stress, COVID. There's so many issues that affect women's hair growth. It's absolutely uh, possible to do something about it. While hair loss impacts both men and women, Span says, her office is getting a large amount of patients suffering from post-COVID hair loss. It's called telogen effluvium. We can help with that. It's just seeking out the help and, and getting help instead of just stressing about it at home because you're absolutely right. Stress makes hair loss worse. Span says our hair is an important element of who we are that many times is overlooked but now is front and center. What Will was doing was defending Jada in something that was meant to be a harmless joke that was clearly upsetting. Well, Dr. Spann says it's important to get a diagnosis from a certified dermatologist because there are many types of alopecia. Now, simple things like steroids and vitamins can be a great solution.